Hello, land seekers. If you're looking for land, guess what? You're in the right place because tonight I've got 59 properties. All of these properties have seller financing. What does that mean? It means you can invest in the land that you see here on this video and on this entire channel all without having to go to a bank and qualify for a loan and any of that other stuff. Nope. I'm Scott from LandMoto.com, and this channel is about helping you to make your land ownership dreams a reality so you can start living those dreams today. And before I get going tonight, all of the properties that you see here tonight are available on our website at LandMoto.com. I want to emphasize that, though. Just I want to go slow with that part, LandMoto.com. Not only is it the name of this channel, it's also our website. And I'm going to show you a short code that you can use, but if you just don't put in the number, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, if you don't put in the number, it's not going to take you where you need to go. Landmoto.com is the website. Now, what is Landmoto? Well, it's a land listing platform that connects you directly to the sellers who are selling their land with owner financing. What does that mean? It means that when you're dealing with the seller, you're, you don't have any background checks and no credit checks and no banks, no employment verification. Seriously, there's no hassle at all. And a lot of times people will say, well, do you work with veterans or disabled? Hey, look, it's up to the individual seller, but there's no income verification and no credit check. So sure, why not? Now, the properties that you're going to see on this video tonight, they all have low down payments and affordable monthly payments. And as we go through the night, I'm going to share with you a lot of different um, a lot of different states. And these are just featured properties. These are not the entire listing of everything. We have over 11,000 properties available on our website. So, you know, to get... To, to, to see more, all you got to do is head over to the website. Again, it's landmoto.com, and you can you can learn more about that. So we're going to head over to California. Now, before I go over to California, I just want to say this one piece here, and that's this. One of the, one of the questions, I get lots of questions on, uh, on YouTube here, great questions. Um, one of the questions I got the other day was basically saying, you know, like, um, well, what happens if you put money down and then you don't make a payment? Well, my answer to that comment was, I, like, it's no different. Like, it, look, if you make a payment on a down payment on a house and don't make another payment, what's going to happen? Or what happens if you put a, a down payment on a car and don't make another payment? We know what's going to happen. It's going to get foreclosed or repossessed or anything else. And the same thing applies here, right? So my advice is not to be, um, look, look, I'm not trying to get you to, to do something that doesn't work for you financially. If it doesn't work for you financially, great have your dream and you know what you can you can look at it but make sure that your budget can support it because no one wants to like lose whatever they've invested and that's just the way that it is sometimes okay so you know just make sure that you do that but you, you know exercise care right like be financially astute but th that's this the reality of the world right like and i kind of chuckled at the question because they said well what happens if i put this down payment down don't make another payment well what do you think is gonna happen like i don't know like guys you know what's gonna happen too right like but that's a question that someone asked. So I wanted to answer it. I answered it in the chat, but I just want to you know, answer it with you too. All right, let's head over to California now. And let's go over here. Let's go. We have a property in Mojave County. This is a one acre property in Mojave. Okay, it's a 0.84 acre property with an asking price of $12,000, 480 down and 192 a month for 60 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 1707. Five seven. Whoop, what happened there? Wow, there we go. Now I'm back. Okay, we're gonna change states now. We're gonna head over to uh, Colorado. So let's go see what we have in Colorado tonight. So there we go. Colorado five acre property. Think about this: five acres for less than sixty seven hundred dollars. Five acres for less than sixty seven hundred dollars, with two eighty nine down and one thirty five a month for sixty months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash one seven six. Zero nine three. Moving on, look at this five and a quarter acre property. Nice five and a quarter acre property. Asking price on this one is seventy four hundred dollars, with two hundred down and one twenty a month for sixty months. You can learn more about this one. That's right, this one. See if it's a good fit for you. That's what I love about this website is you can go and see if you like it. See, talk to the owner. Omoto.ws forward slash one seven three seven nine nine all right here we go next one also in mojave uh in mojave also in costilla now look this is where i was saying i was gonna dog on this one a little bit because i look at this picture and 
I got to tell you something. I look at this picture. I'm like, I don't know that this is Costilla. Honestly, like, I'm being honest with you. This may be Costilla. I don't know every nuance of the county, like every little point of it. I have a hard time believing this is Costilla. And it might be. And I could be completely wrong. But it's getting your attention. It's getting me to talk about the property, right? So that's a good thing. So here's a five-acre property with an asking price of $79.49. And I know that this is not the property, one. And two, I know that this is not even the county. But $750 down and $162 a month for 84 months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 176. 105. Now, look, I could be wrong. I they could say, hey, look, I got this picture right from the county. I don't, what do I know, right? Like, what do I know? But I've never seen this feature of the whole county, but I've never seen the whole county either. That's the thing. Like, that's the risk I take right here by talking about this. But, you know, you look at this and you're like, well, where's that on my property? This is not on the property. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, but you could unleash your Indiana Jones. That's for sure. All right. So we've been looking at a lot of five acre properties. What if we want to change it up? What if we wanted to go to a 10 acre property? No problem. I've got that too here in Costilla. It's this one right here. So here we have a 10 acre property. Asking price for these 10 acres is less than $13,000 with $4.99 down and $2.50 a month for 50 months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 175664. Okay, we're going to a five acre property here. Five acres. Asking price on this one is $67.99. Uh, with 199 down and 139 a month for 53 months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 162.39. We're going to stay in Costilla here. We're going to be near San Luis Valley. The old San Luis is a city, by the way. San Luis happens to be the old city in Colorado. I know that for a fact. The oldest city in Colorado. I think it was like the first incorporated city. That's what makes it the oldest. Here we have a five-acre property, so uh, asking price on this one is uh, less than $15,000. Notice that you're up in the hills here. You're going up into the, to the mountains. You've got nice properties with some, some trees developing on here. Again, the down payment, if you don't want to pay cash for it, you can finance it with a cash price of $795 or two, and $239, $235 a month for 80 months. 80 months, it's all yours, free and clear. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 176118. All right, uh, staying in Costilla here, we have a five acre property, just under five acres, but the county counts these as a five acres as well. So we have a five acre property here, asking price on this one. The cash price is $72.50 with $50 down and $99 a month. Yeah, that's another Ben Franklin property. Love those. And you pay this thing off in 82 months. Learn more about this one. I mean, this is a really good deal. $50 down for a five-acre property. I don't think you can argue with that one. Elmoto.ws forward slash 172563. All right, here we have a five-acre property here. Asking price on this one is $9,900 with $100 down and $199 a month for 60 months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 171729. I have another one in Costilla. This is a 4.89 acre property. Uh, asking price on this one is $98.50 with $250 down and $160 a month for 60 months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 174699. Look, we already saw one 10-acre property tonight uh, in Costilla, but we're about to see another 10-acre property here. It's another 10 acres. So let's go look at this one here. Let's see this one. And here we have a 10-acre property. Asking price on this one is uh, just under $15,000 with $11.99 down and two ninety dollars a month for 60 months. Learn more about that one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash um, 176021. What about uh, five acres? Oh, I went too fast there. What about five acres near the Rio Grande River? Yeah, we can get that. Five acres near the Rio Grande River there. Asking price on this one is $8,000. We have yet another Ben Franklin property here with $99 down and $99 a month. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 121399. I want to pause for a second because I'm getting ready to change states. I'm getting ready to go over to the state of Florida. But I wanted to show you something, too, is maybe you know this if you've been to the website. But if you haven't been to the website, 
no problem. Let me show you what you can do here. Another question that I get here on YouTube all the time is, hey, how do I know people are legitimate, right? And, and that's a very fair concern, okay? Now, the cool thing about Land Moto here is while I have not verified everybody, you can go and look to see if someone's been verified on Land Moto because if you look at their name, they have a blue check mark next to them if they've been verified. That means that myself or my team either know them or that we've verified that they are an established business or a credible person. Now, that said, you know, we haven't verified everybody because that doesn't mean that they're bad. It just means that they haven't gone through the process yet. No problem. No problem. But also, you can learn more about the sellers that you're working with by zeroing in on some of the reviews, too. And so what I want to show you was here on the website, you can scroll down here. Just, you know, you've got some of the most recent pic uh, properties here. But look at this. You can come down here to the reviews. And when you come down to the reviews, you can see these are these are honest reviews. They actually show you who the person's name was and when they submitted it. Okay, this person actually put their email address. We should probably change that just to protect them. But you can see, like you know, sellers are, are getting great ratings here. Okay, so you can see, like you can see who who the great sellers are. And then what's cool about this is you can even come in here. Let's come over here to Caleb, for example. You can come over here to Caleb and scroll down and then you can see Caleb's properties if this is someone that you want to work with, right? So you can see he's got some in, in Arkansas, okay, a number of them in Arkansas. And um, I, here's, here's one in Nevada, okay? So he's got another one in Nevada. So look, that's the cool thing about this website is that you can come over here, look at the reviews and get feedback from other people. Like what, what other land sellers are they using? And then zero down into their inventory to see what they have. Maybe you wanna work with specific land sellers, right? So that's one of the cool things. So how do, how do you know they, they're real? Reviews, other people, they've, they've successfully gone there, but also look for that blue check mark next to their name. Uh, and that will tell you that, that we've verified them as well, okay? Always appreciate you being here. Always appreciate the time that you spend with me. Look, we're the we're the uh, fastest growing land channel on YouTube. I know that because I look at the analytics. We're growing like leaps and bounds, all thanks to you guys and how you're watching us. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you found that land connection tonight. And with that, I'll see you in our very next video. Take care and good night.